Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial we are going to see grep, pipe and filter commands which are normally used to search the string and the filter the string in given file. So let's start today's session. Grep command. The grep command searches a file or files for lines that have a certain pattern. For example, if you want to search any string in given file, you can use the grep command. If you want, if you want to find files in your given directory, you can use the grep command. So command is very simple: grep, pattern, and the file name. What does grep stand for? If you want to know, the grep stand for globally search for a regular expression and print all lines containing it. So this is very simple definition of grep which is normally used for the searching the string. If you are using windows system you might know the control f if you do it is actually searches it opens a search window to search the content in your file system. So it is on the same line the grep command works in unix. So let's try to just run a grep and if you see you if you are able to do that yes it is able to do that the option is only we have to try with grape then option and then pattern so that is the way we have to run so what are the options we have we have the various options such as hyphen v hyphen n hyphen l hyphen c and hyphen i hyphen v it will print all the lines that do not match pattern hyphen n print the matched line and its line number hyphen l prints only names of the files with the matching lines letter l hyphen c prints only the count of matching lines hyphen i matches either upper or lower case so let's see let's use those options before that let me show you what we have let's list with the timestamp using ls minus ldr so we have this file let's do more on that file so let's more is nothing but uh, if if the file is very big and you want to see in page format in that case we can use a more command so in this command i can see there are various uh, uh, content i can see if you enter the content will vary and you will see the different content at a different time so let's try to search if there is any error right now you can see it's a just debug mode so if you want to see any error present in this file let's do the grep on that so what are the files we have we have the various files with the names cmxserver.log let's grep with the error you can type just small e uh, capital er um, the most important part about running the commands in Unix is it is case sensitive. So if you type GREP in capital case, the command will not work. So make sure you are using, uh, you're using very case sensitive things. Now I just ran the grep command with ERR and it is showing where it is found. So on each line, what is the line number at what time? happen that is coming from the log file or what are the file we refer however the matching pattern is ERR so that is totally found let's try with a, the same thing with a small ERR so as I said it is very case sensitive so if you use small RR so it will search for the small case ERR now if you want to search with like C underscore STG let's search with that grape c underscore stg and the file name is cmx server dot log so it will search for all that pattern if you want to search across all the files you have to simply use like this and instead of file name you can just use the asterisk or the star sign so it will search that pattern on in the all the files so you can see log for j uh, sorry cmx server dot log dot four that file number four is getting searched so if you see all the data is getting displayed here 
so now log file 3 and etc if you want to see those files you can see that log for 4 3 1 etc etc all these files getting searched now one more thing uh, we search for the small case right so let's if you search it will just print the small case let's try with minus i minus i is nothing but it will search case insensitive that means it will find the capital as well as lower case so you can see this the capital case is searched also the small case is also searched so by this way we will be able to search case insensitively so it will search like suppose the first letter is capital rest of things is small so that can be doable with a hyphen and op hyphen i option now there is one more option that is hyphen c let's try with that so it found err pattern in the cmx server dot log file 193 times so it will give us the count how many times that pattern occurred that is err now suppose if you want to use hyphen n let's see if you just use here hyphen n let's see if you use count as well as hyphen n so it will not give that correct information because we are counting that so you have to just remove that and use now so this will give the information this is the line number this is the line number and in it in that file where it is found so it is easily capture the information about the line numbers v let's try with hyphen v option so instead of n because n will search for the finding the number so all the lines which do not found the matching criteria hype err all those lines will be printed here so if you want to print non-matching uh, strings you can use a hyphen v if you want to print the count you can use a hyphen c so these are the options available with the grep command so grep command is very easy to search now regular expression and grep grep to find lines with a given string for example in this case mike so if you want to search the name mike how to use a regular expression with a grep command in order to use the grep command with a regular expression you can use the asterisk sign for example here if you want to list the files which start with the or which have the content mic hyphen i means it is case insensitive so ls will do the list hyphen l will the list the files grep will grab those files which have the mic and has us also so let's try to do that if you do just ls here it will print this all this file now suppose if you want to do the ls minus l it will it will give us a result so suppose ls minus l is this this is the result we got so this result we are going to filter in order to filter you have to use pipe command okay you can use space if you want and then use the grape hyphen i means cap uh, hyphen i that means case sensitive and then you can search a like any pattern for example i want to search with the post pattern that's it and list it so you can see so the out of this result it just filtered using this pipe and then on top top of that we are filtering grape hyphen i post so it is doing that so let me do hyphen rn and let's try so you can see the output of this is filter using grep command and it will just searching all the files which have i and it is case insensitive case insensitive so this is the way we can filter the output from the previous command sort the data now if you want to sort the data you can just use sort command okay like let's do this ls and do sort 
let's see if you just do the ls it will print the lines but it is not necessary it will be in sorted form so these are getting sorted based on the date what when it is created but um, if you see these are not sorted just information is given if you see the post install is its last post install is last one post install log one is previous one but if you do sort like if you just do the sort it will sort the data numerically or alphanumerically so this is the way you can sort the data if you want to sort the data something like that suppose let's grape it grape suppose I want to grape the CSTG let me do hyphen I CSTG in CMX server file and then I will do sort or let me do without sort so it will print without sort if you just do the sort what are the output you are going to get it will be sorted So the sort command is used to sort the information. There are several options come with the sort hyphen n it will sort numerically. 10 will be sorted after 2. It ignores the blanks and tabs hyphen r reverse the sort of order hyphen f sorts upper and lower case together hyphen x ignores the x files when sorting for example let's do the ls ls minus l and then we'll do the sort and let's try one of the option we'll try the reversing the order and let's see hyphen r so you can see the post install is coming at the first if you do the normal sort the post install is going at the end so this is the way we can reverse the sort also. You can try the other options in your system to understand how it works in better way. Then we have the pg and more command. So if, if your output of your query is coming in huge volume or it's having the more lines and you cannot look at a single uh, observation. So you have to, to chunk up the files to be displayed on your screen instead of it will go it will go very fast and the last lines will be just displayed so how to overcome that in order to overcome that we have the pg and more command a long output can be normally be zipped on the screen but if you run text through one more or pg command as a filter the display stops once the screen is full for the text so let me show you how that is working so if you remember we ran one error uh, grip error okay let's do this so if you see it is displaying or it is going very fast and I can't read so similarly if you want to do a more on that let's do a grip so it will show us so on this command I'll do the more so even the output is too high like if you remember if you see this line it's it's almost grabbed to 22,000 so if you do more what you'll do it will just show the first page so you can see the data and at the end you can see the more so that means there is more data present just press enter and the next page will be displayed similarly you can review the, your data on each page so the, this is the page size and it is getting set it is getting displayed and there is huge volume of uh, data is present once it is the page is complete at the end you will see the end this page contains all the information which is your filtered so the error only error messages will be displayed not the complete file so now if you press enter at the end this file is ended here so you cannot see that more option at the end so you can see the clear block cursor 
this is the way you can grab the information in page wise so these are the details about the grape this is very basic things about the grape to search the string in your file i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to search data and how to use the sort command to sort the information which you grabbed using grape command thank you again and have a nice time